Judy Justice debuts today, and you will notice some significant changes. Well, she remains as sharp and witty as ever. Are you prepared to enter the real estate holdings of Judge Judy Sheedlin? Well, ready or not, that's exactly what's about to happen. Judge Judy is famous for her willingness to come down hard on nearly anyone, and she's been gracing our TV screens for well over two decades, winning the heart of many. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In fact, after a total of 25 seasons, her legendary series brought in an average of around 10 million viewers a day, making her a major Hollywood success story to the tune of a $440 million net worth. If I knew a judge could make that kind of money, I would have paid a lot closer attention during my high school civics course, I can tell you that. Of course, Judy knows exactly how to invest that money as well. Take for instance her recent decision to scoop up this beautiful Newport, Rhode Island home. And Judy bought the place in July of 2018, and according to a press release from the Newport Daily News, her brand new estate that overlooks the ocean side is one of the highest priced property sales in Rhode Island, coming in at $9 million. The original owner of the estate, Campbell Soup Heiress, Dorrance Hill Hamilton, originally listed the property for $12.5 million. But following her death in 2013, the price of the property would reduce significantly over the years. Eventually, Judy swept in to buy the nearly 15,000 square foot home, making it hers permanently. The six bedroom, eight bathroom residence boasts a number of highlights that include a two story entrance hall, as well as a living room with a floor to ceiling stone fireplace that needs to be seen to be believed and is finished off with some classy wood paneled walls. Her kitchen has been crafted with custom made cabinets and a kitchen island that offers both a marble countertop as well as a butcher block section. There's even a raised area for breakfast bar seating and only a few feet away from there is a charming breakfast nook surrounded by wraparound windows. Whenever Judy's looking to relax and unwind after a long day of work, she has her fair share of options to choose from. Either her gorgeous wood paneled study with a cozy looking fireplace or in her uniquely decorated emerald green dining room. And when it comes to her new bedrooms, the most fascinating thing about them is definitely their use of wallpaper. The master suite has been done up in all yellow everything, while guests can take their pick from a pair of rooms that channel the greenery of the property's surrounding forest. Installed elsewhere is state-of-the-art technology, including geothermal heating and cooling in the floors, as well as an elevator. And over in her gorgeous backyard, you'll discover not only an outdoor kitchen, but a sheltered sitting area and a small-sized pool set directly into the deck. Basically, what I'm trying to say is no expense was spared in the creation of this beautiful sanctuary. Then again, the same could easily be said for all of Judy's numerous homes. And if her honor ever feels like decamping somewhere else, well, it's not like she doesn't have choices, some of which reside down south in Naples, Florida. Back in 2005, Judge Judy and her hubby Judge Jerry bought themselves a golf front penthouse pad in Naples, Florida for a grand total of $6.9 million. This 8,550 square foot unit is a 16th floor penthouse suite that offers four bedrooms, six baths, two private elevators, a gorgeous wraparound sitting area, and its very own sauna. In other words, despite technically being an apartment, this home boasts plenty of space and the type of accommodations you're most likely to find in a resort. This includes a spacious gourmet kitchen with marble countertops and a large gas range stovetop. There's also a living room with enough space to fit an entire dining room table off to the one side. Oh, and did I mention the separate areas for a library and home office? According to property listings, Judy's primary suite features dual his and hers bathrooms, a walk-in wardrobe, and not far from there is a nanny suite that comes complete with its own kitchenette. If you're worried that Judy wouldn't be seeing much of that Florida son while living in an apartment, don't fret too much because her unit also comes with access to a pool deck cabana. After owning this property for close to eight years, Judy and her husband would decide to move on and pick themselves up a 10,000 square foot mansion just down the street for a reported $8.9 million after listing their previous penthouse for a bit more than that, 11 million to be exact. Now there's less known about this new property than her penthouse, but reports suggest the home boasts six bedrooms and 11 baths with a comfortable and cozy living room that includes a wet bar in the back. 
Other unique highlights are said to include a black marble floor foyer with a gigantic central staircase, as well as a professional grade kitchen with a breakfast bar and massive island. Then there's the exterior which features a lush landscaped backyard with not one, not two, but three waterfalls, a spa, and an elegant gazebo located next to a lagoon style pool. Pretty nice, right? And yet neither of these Florida properties or her new home in Rhode Island are Judy's main residence. For that, we have to travel to Greenwich, Connecticut. For the past decade and a half, Judge Judy's home base has been her gorgeous stone mansion, situated on 12.5 acres in the extremely affluent Greenwich, Connecticut. Property records suggest that Judy bought the estate back in September of 2007 for $13.2 million. And various online reports state that she had the original structure on the premises demolished to make way for her brand new 20,000 square foot home. With this being her main home for so long, details on the interior have been kept to a bare minimum. But aerial photos suggest that the estate has a large gatehouse, likely for security, as well as a carriage house, a massive motor court, stretches of green lawns, formal gardens, a swimming pool, and a cabana with a deep shaded patio. One other detail we know about this place is that Variety once reported the taxes on the property skyrocketed after Judy was done with her renovations. I'm talking to around 230 30 thousand dollars a year. Speaking of how Judge Judy earns her dough, did you know that she only generally works about 52 days a year? It's true. She manages to film all of her episodes for each season in that relatively a short amount of time. And yet she does so while living in another residence, this one located near where she films in Los Angeles, California. In 2013, Judge Judy reportedly paid $10.7 million for a 4,680 square foot apartment in Beverly Hills. Both Hosting five bedrooms as well as three and a half bathrooms, this unit is located inside the swanky building once known as Montage Beverly Hills. Judy's home away from home is said to feature top of the line amenities, not the least of which are the seven balconies scattered about the property and four underground parking spaces. The floor plan included with online marketing materials for the small number of apartments here suggests that Judy's new upper floor unit is entered through a long L-shaped foyer. Not far from there is a coat closet, a powder room, a petite library, as well as a much larger temperature controlled walk-in wine cellar. There's also a 42 foot long living room with a fireplace that leads out to a narrow balcony with low rise panoramic views of the city, mountains and sky. The formal dining room also opens up to a balcony which connects through a kitchen that comes well equipped with a center work island and walk-in pantry. Back in the living room, a set of double doors open to a bedroom slash den, while a second set of double doors leads to the bedroom wing, where two bedrooms share a sizable bathroom. The master suite occupies a prime position at the tail end of the hall and was a pair of roomy walk-in closets and a spacious bedroom with direct access to another balcony. Meanwhile, the attached bathroom is a couple of sinks with a makeup vanity, a separate tub and stall shower, as well as his and hers toilet cubicles. Last but not least, there's a guest suite that provides visitors with a mini balcony of their own as well as a walk-in closet and a private bath. In case you're wondering, Montage Beverly Hills is now referred to as the Mayborn Beverly Hills, and it offers residents an army of discreet staff to cater to their every need, including well-connected concierge and super deluxe amenities such as a spa and fitness facility, even a rooftop swimming pool. There are also five-star hotel services like room service and housekeeping. As an added bonus, security is said to be extremely tight. So there you have it, the many properties of Judge Judy. As we wrap up our tour for the day, do me a favor and ask yourselves this one question. If you needed to live in LA for two months out of every year, would you spend $10 million on a home to live nearby or just stay in a hotel? Let me know your answers in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a tour. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more and I will see you all in another video. Bye.